The next thing we get to play with, zoom in and zoom out. It does exactly what it says on the packet. If you click zoom out, you'll see that we're zooming out and you can get a wider view of what's happening in the market. The only problem is that it starts becoming quite difficult to see exactly what's going on. But if we zoom in, you'll find a, a comfortable level where you can see enough history, but still make out what's happening. I generally have mine zoomed out to about this level as it lets me read the market very easily um, and it gives me enough history. If you zoom in too much, then you might lose sight of the bigger picture. But you'll find what's comfortable for you and what works for you. My advice though is to make sure that you can see enough of the history as long as you can still clearly make out the candles and the movements happening inside. Over here we just have a way to quickly arrange the charts that we have. It loads it up into however it can manage to squeeze it in. You'll see uh, when we first loaded up we had those four screens. So if you only had four open and you do this, then it loads it up like that. And if you only have two open, it'll put them side by side. This is the templates button over here. Templates are very, very useful. We're going to be going through how to edit the charts and how to edit MetaTrade and get it all set up the way that we want it to. And then we can go ahead and save it as a template. So for example, I've created this blank one. And this is how I start off all of my charts. We have a clear white background. I have my bullish candles blue and my bearish candles red. This is to match the buy blue and the sell red. And then I go ahead and I add my indicators on top. I find that the indicators stand out and it makes everything a lot clearer. But now when I have this loaded, I'd have to go ahead and open a new chart and then everything looks all wonky again. So instead of having to set up the whole chart again, I can then just load up the template that I've created and it applies everything to you. This will also save all the different indicators you have as well as objects you have on the screen. So if you have a particular trading strategy that you really enjoy, you can go ahead and save all of those settings under a new template, which is what we will be doing in, later on in this course. And then you can load up a new chart and you can just pop on that system on top and you're done. It takes seconds, what would otherwise take five or 10 minutes. The next button here is the periods button. This allows you to change what time frame that you're going to be trading in. So if I select 15 minutes, it means each candlestick represents 15 minutes of time. If I select 30 minutes, then you guessed it, each candlestick represents 30 minutes of time. The different time frames that you can trade in depends on what sort of strategy you have, as well as what your goals are, how many hours you have. What we'll do is that we'll start off with the most common time periods traded for the various systems we have, and we will, and we will be discussing pros and cons of what's the difference between trading a smaller time frame versus a larger one. For now, as long as you know, this is where you can find the button. The next button over here, quite simply, just gives you a bit of blank space on the right hand side. You'll see by clicking it, we now have this empty space here, and we have this little gray triangle. You can click on that and drag it to maybe shrink it a little bit, or you could move it across and make it a lot bigger. There are very few times that you actually need this empty space. It's only really if you have a news event coming up quite soon that you might want to show a bit of future time, this empty space, and then perhaps make a note on the chart over here. So when it arrives, you can see the news event. Most people I know who use it are more visual and they like to have a bit of blank space because they find it lets them almost see where the charts are going. I do like to have it because I find that when it is off, the chart feels a little bit more crowded than it needs to be. But it doesn't actually change anything for the trading strategy. So this is really a personal choice.